If you were to find a piece of cable where the transmit pairs and the receive pairs have been reversed, then this is probably a cabling issue. It's one where someone has put the connectors on and wired them wrong at the connector, or perhaps at the patch panel, the send and the receive has been swapped around. If this is Ethernet, that may not necessarily be a problem. Because if you recall, this exact wire map here is exactly what you would find if you were going to build a crossover cable for Ethernet. But Ethernet's very unique that way. It has the auto MDIX capability that can automatically, in some cases, determine that that's a crossover cable and still use that cable properly. Not all topologies allow you to do this. So if you were to plug in to this Ethernet cable some type of wiring mapping device, it would show you that instead of 1 to 1 and 2 to 2 and 3 to 3 and 6 to 6, you have this type of scenario where 1 goes to 3, 2 goes to 6, 3 goes to 1, and 6 goes to 2. And if you look at the cable, it's very easy to identify that because of the colors that we have on those individual wires. And if you look at one side, you have a green wire, the green and white wire on number one, and you have the orange and white wire on the other side of the number one. And you know immediately that those are not a straight through connection like you would expect. Unfortunately, you have wired the transmits to the receives and the receives to the transmits. That becomes a little bit more of a challenge to troubleshoot. As we mentioned earlier, in Ethernet, if you plug in a cable that has receive and transmit both swapped around, it's possible that your equipment can recognize that and be able to use it anyway. It's as if you were plugging in a crossover cable directly between two connections. So if you have some devices that will auto MDIX or auto MDI, you may see it referred to, if your network interface card or the switch you're plugging into can identify situations where there's a crossover and automatically adjust, you may see no difference at all. You may not even know that things are wired incorrectly. Unfortunately, not all pieces of equipment are able to do this. Or there may be cases where that Ethernet connection on that device has been specifically configured not to allow connectivity if there is crossover involved. And if those situations happen, then you'll have no connectivity whatsoever. You won't get any link light. That Ethernet connection will never come up and running. This type of problem, of course, is one that occurs because human beings had their hands involved in this. This is not like an open or a short where the problem might exist somewhere along the wire up in the ceiling. This type of issue is one where we have gone into the cable and accidentally wired the transmits to go to the receives. So we want to look at our patch panels. We want to look at our connectors. If it's a single short wire, we may want to put the wire connectors up to each other and look inside that connector to see exactly how it's wired. If those two ends of the wire are hundreds of feet across, then you may have to get diagnostics equipment that can perform a wire map for you to help you understand exactly how this is wired. Did we wire it straight through, 1 to 1, 2 to 2, 3 to 3, and so on? Or is there a swap between the transmits and receives? And once you find that, of course, you can change your patch. You can put a new connector on the end of it to ensure that this type of swapping of transmits and receives does not occur inside of that link.